Hello, my name is Roman Oworka. I'm the developer of Kame APSFX system. Today we'll be talking about how the algorithm learns. The algorithm includes three levels of learning. The first learning is the overall learning. It's about the overall insulin needs, uh, how much insulin is needed on average um, during the day. But that learning occurs once a day, and it's um, it's done by analyzing the previous data, how the insulin, how the subject responded in terms of glucose levels to the previous day. But the previous days, are, um, all the previous uh, days are important, but the more recent days are more important than the uh, days in, in the past. But this is called exponential forgetting. So the days which are really in the past are forgot, forgotten and the system continues learning every day. The second level of learning is what happens during the day itself over the 24 hours. So the day is divided into a period, about a one hour period, and each of this period, the system will be evaluating, again, looking at the data in the past, whether in that specific period that, uh, that user needs more or less insulin, they will continually, again, adjust um, the, the need for the insulin needs in, 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 that, in, in that one hour period. The third learning is related to the uh, post-meal learning. So when the user gives in the morning um, a, a bolus for, for meals, uh, the system will observe whether that insulin amount was um, what was appropriate, whether glucose went too high or too low, and it will adjust its assessment of what it's called um, a, a glucose, the the amount of glucose which is appearing um, based on that carbohydrate content, and based on that information or beta of analysis, it can on the subsequent days if people um, are constantly underdosing or glucose goes too high or the bolus will start giving more insulin into the future post-meal because it will know that for that given meal, for that given meal size, and for that given part of the day, uh, that user is under-bolusing or over-bolusing. So you look at the look and look at this learning as a way how to improve glucose control in the post-meal conditions in separate times of the day for separate um, meal sizes. So all this learning, the overall learning, the, um, the diurnal learning during the day, and also the post-meal learnings are occurring all the time. So it is not that um, the system would learn and it will stop learning. Every day it contributes. And as I mentioned the previous day, um, information um, or the, the more recent days is more important than in the distant days, but the system will continue learning. It will learn patterns. Sometimes there are patterns about the diurnal learning. Sometimes there are not. But it really depends on the individual circumstances. Thank you for listening and thank you for your interest in coming to PSFX.